William Whalen here for GetMoreSports.com, and we are looking at a number of conference championship games to be decided here on Monday afternoon and evening uh, to, to, to determine who's going to the NCAA tournament, uh, but also analyzing if there are any bid stealers out there that are going to make at-large hopefuls and bubble hopefuls uh, sweat a little bit here on Monday before they begin their conference tournaments. And while it doesn't look like there are any thieves on the line today, uh, let's give you a quick look at the action coming up today. First in the Colonial, we've got Northeastern versus William & Mary. Uh, William & Mary is a team who's put up a fight against a, a lot of really good mid-majors and high-majors in the non-conference. <clears throat> this is a game that ultimately neither of these guys are going to earn an at-large berth. Uh, both 12 and 6 in conference, neither first place. Uh, however, it, it's an exciting battle. Uh, two kind of classic schools that you always like to see uh, old names going up against each other. Uh, William & Mary has been really, really good. They were in a dogfight on Sunday. Uh, so I'm actually going to go with the Tribe uh, to pull out this win today. How about in the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference, uh, one of the great conference names in the country, the true Mac, Mac, Mac. Uh, we've got Iona and Manhattan, the Jaspers matching up against the Gales. Iona is always one of the most fun teams to watch in the country, wide open style of play. They've always got tremendous guard play as well. Uh, they really dominated the conference season for much of the go about uh, in this conference. I do like Iona to advance here. Uh, another situation where neither of these guys uh, are really necessarily going to be a bid stealer. I think Iona has a really good chance to get in at large. However, uh, ultimately, what else is going to happen in the conference tournament? They, they have a real chance to get pushed out by maybe another thief uh, of a bid. So I would say Iona needs to win this to feel ultimately comfortable. Uh, they've been good all year. Uh, their RPI numbers are pretty solid uh, in terms of bubble talk. But Manhattan could really play the role of Thief here. Uh, this is what's going to happen here, I think. I think Iona is going to win this game. I, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of drama uh, in terms of what bubble teams are going to be looking at this game uh, in trying to determine their own fate. I think Iona's in good chance here, uh, in good standing. I do think they win. If they lose... That's going to be a really big case of how we're talking about bubble teams when we match up them against the likes of Texas, uh, really against the likes of someone like UCLA or Stanford for the Pac-12. Who is more worthy? They're going to be an interesting case if they lose today, but I don't think they will. In the Big South, we've got conference winner Wofford of the regular season title champion uh, matching up against Furman, 5-13 uh, in conference play, and yet this team has won three straight going on to the conference tournament final game, uh, upsetting the likes of Chattanooga, who finished in second place in the conference uh, during the regular season. I love what I've seen from Furman. I mean, this again, this is what's so exciting about this week in college basketball. Uh, ultimately, of course, if Furman beats Washington, it's going to, or Wofford, pardon me, it's going to be a huge upset. Uh, but are we talking about Wofford as an at-large team in the NCAA tournament? Probably not. Uh, so I wouldn't necessarily qualify it as a bid steal. Uh, but nonetheless, Wofford needs to win this game because if they don't get in, I mean, e even if they were on the bubble, which I don't think they are, uh, this would certainly knock them out of consideration altogether. Uh, Wofford, you're going to win this game today. You're going to be dancing, I do believe. Uh, however, let's give a shout-out to Furman and what a performance from them here in the conference tournament of the Big South.